Okay, let's do the M4 Sherman tank basic shapes to start off with. So I'm just doing a ground level here, just with pencil. This is just on an A5 bit of paper, so not too big this drawing. Then the tracks come up here. Let's do another line just going across. This is just like the second ground level to where the tank will meet the ground. So do the tracks coming up. And then this is the rear section of the tracks. So they both come up at angles. Then for the bodywork, comes up here. So it's like opposite to the track shape. So it comes up, across, then back down. Then this top section's curved. Like that. I'll just do another line going across there, just so we can put the other curve in. And it's got a line going across here that comes down a little bit. Then we want to curl this bodywork back in. There we are. Then the tracks will follow the same angle as this ground level. Okay, and let's do some of these wheels. So let's have five on the bottom, one just up here, and one will come here. Then for suspension of the wheels, let's do little rectangles. Here, and let's do yarn here. And just the spokes will come across like that. This one's a spiked cog. Okay, I'll do a little bit more on the detail on the tracks in a moment. So this comes quite high up. I'll make that a little bit higher. And then we can do the turret on the top. So it's kind of flat at the back and kind of round at the front. And then it's like a half barrel shape, just sticking out of there. And then we need a cylinder shape for the gun. Okay, it's got a little bag there, maybe for supplies. Yeah, it's got a roof gun as well. And this is where the hatch will be. Okay, so that's all the basic lines in with pencil. I'm going to go with pen and do some details with you. Then I'll probably shade it all in time lapse. So these tracks, the shape, I'm just looking at my foot reference, so we can do little rectangles first. And then we'll just draw an edge, <coughs> excuse me, we'll just draw an edge here. Have this come up. Then the track shape. We'll join two together. Okay, now I've joined the two to go up together. We'll do a little detail on the track, which will just be triangles. Then we'll just do little semicircles coming up. And then a little inside line. 
this is just with the fine line of this, so it's not not a too expensive kind of pen. I wish there was a circle here for the cog. This is like the main driving wheel. I was doing another inside line for this. Try and keep the line equal distance apart. Okay. Let's keep do this ground line. Okay, let's do these the suspension. So let's do a little square there. And it's got a few circles up and above for the nuts. Um, bolts, perhaps. And it's got a little shape there to hold it in place. Okay. Let's just do another circle here. These are just going to be for the driving wheels. And we'll join this up. Then these look like almost look like train wheels. So they're just to guide the tracks across the ground. Just like so, then that semicircle. I should have done this actually first. Comes across there on the tracks and then the inside edge. So I'm going to do that in time lapse for the rest of it. Um, I'll just get some of this other tank drawn in. So this is the main side panel. Then this curls round. And it's got a panel on the side. There. I'll we'll do another panel on this side. This will have an edge all around it. Okay, uh, let's do some of the front details. So we've got the barrel shape here. Quite sure what this is for, but uh, I'm sure it's useful. It's like a handle there. And this line going across, I'll just draw that in. Then the wheel shape on here. Okay, it's got a few like jerry cans stacked up, I think that's what them look like. Okay. There's two holes here for when people can stick out the heads, so it's probably for the driver and the gunner. Okay, we'll do a half barrel on the gun.
Okay, so that's the gun pretty much done there, drawn in. And this is the back on the side. And we'll draw a line going across here. This curls round. And this is for the small gun on the side. Okay, there's a few more details in. So, there's a few handles here. And this is going to be the other side for the wheel arch. Just down there. Okay, so that's pretty much most of the details all in. Now I'm going to move into time lapse, just where I'll finish off the details and do a bit of shading. So the shading is going to be quite straightforward. It's just going to be block shading, just on these lower sections, and then just to thin out. I do have a video on shading, so you can have a look at that for some helpful tips. Okay, so I'm going to move into time lapse now for the rest of this. Okay guys, I think I'm all finished there just for this M4 Sherman tank. It's a, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. See all the different black shadows. This is the most blackest bit for the lower portion. Bit a few uh, studs and rivets there just for a bit of detail. And yeah, I've just gone all. You can see all these different lower portions with all, all the different shapes stuff. But leave a white highlight at the top just to still give the outline of where things are. And add a bit of colour there just to I don't know just to finish off the picture. But thanks anyway, guys, and uh, I'll see you later for the next one.